Hi everyone, welcome back to Pathways of Hope. My name is Chris Felix and I'm from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Today let us delve into the powerful words of Jesus found in the Gospel of Mark chapter 7 verses 14 to 23. And in this particular passage, Jesus addresses not just the external practices, but more importantly, the condition of the human heart. You know, Jesus challenges this notion of purity, that what goes into the body determines one's righteousness. But Jesus is also directing our focus to the heart, emphasizing that true purity is a matter of the heart. Let us think of it this way, dear brothers and sisters, that the heart is portrayed as really the wellspring from which all our actions flow. On the other side, it can be, of course, evil thoughts, immoral behaviors, and sinful deeds which find their origin within. But on the other side is this cultivation of righteousness and purity, which also originates from within. So the question for our reflection today is that how can we guard our hearts from such defilement? Allow me to share with you two scriptures that offer us some guidance in guarding our hearts. The first taken from Psalm 119 verse 11, which says, I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. This particular passage, this particular Bible verse, invites us to fill our hearts with the Word of God as we regularly immerse ourselves in God's Word. God's Word acts as a protective shield for our hearts. The second Bible verse is Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This particular verse invites us to cultivate a prayerful life. And maybe this can be our, our focus for the year of 2024, a consistent prayer life. And as we continue to ask God for the grace to have this consistent prayer life, really we can surrender our hearts more and more to God, seeking His guidance, wisdom and strength daily. And so Jesus' words really serve as a call for each and every one of us to examine ourselves. Instead of being you know, preoccupied with all the external rituals, we are challenged to look within, address the root causes of our action and really uh, repent, acknowledging that our hearts need God's transfor transformation. So dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the grace of God to cultivate a consistent prayer life as we fill our hearts with God's word so that we can truly guard our hearts. Amen. If you're blessed by this video, I'd like to invite you to like and to share. Once again, I'm Chris Felix. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Bye, everyone.